ladies, I'm Mindy with Essentials for Healthy Living with Mindy Robinson. And today I want to share with you some of my beauty tips. Because what girl doesn't want beauty tips? And what girl doesn't want healthy, glowing skin? Now, I have recently switched to Young Living Essential Oils as my main um, skincare regimen and I'm loving the results. Um, I've thrown out all of my toxic moisturizers because they all have chemicals and toxic ingredients and we've all been learning lately that whatever you put on your skin goes into your body and goes into your bloodstream. So when we use those store-bought moisturizers and you look at the label and it has all those big words that you don't know how to pronounce but you know it's some sort of chemical you're actually putting that chemical into your body just the same as if you were to drink it so not only are we protecting ourselves from harmful chemicals but I find that the <laughs> the oils and natural things that come straight from the earth are just a lot more beneficial and give me much better results than anything I've ever used over the counter. And that includes when I was a teenager with horrible acne outbreaks and I was going to the dermatologist and using all of those high dose, fancy smancy um, medicines and face washes he gave me. The essential oils give me much better results than anything else I've used. And by the time you factor in how long a bottle lasts, they are so much cheaper than the moisturizers you buy, especially when you get into the high-end moisturizers. And these are every bit as good, in my opinion and my experience. Now, what I like to do in the morning is to use my Young Living Cobaiba oil. And this is a great all-around oil. It's often used as an anti-inflammatory and it's also often used with um, oils for pain to help magnify their effects for healing. This is also a really good skincare oil and some people have even used it to help heal scars. I like to use it as my morning moisturizer and to help fight wrinkles. And in fact, I have a very sweet friend who had started using it for a few weeks and said that she was already noticing a reduction in the lines around her eyes. So I thought, hey, what have I got to lose? Let's get rid of those suckers. So I started using it and the thing I noticed the most is all through the day how much softer my skin is. because. I seldom wear a foundation, so I notice how dry, how oily my skin is, and using the Cobaiba all day long, my face is just baby soft, and I love that. And I know that it's helping to nourish my skin and nourish my body. And all I do is I simply put one drop in my hand and rub it around and then just smooth it all over my face and I try to get my neck too because we ladies know that our necks are where we show our age the quickest. So just rub it in and it's that simple. And if you like to wear foundation, go ahead and put it on after the Copaiba, no harm there. And your makeup will actually go on a little bit smoother. Now what I like to do in the evening, I do an oil face wash and all I do is rub olive oil on my skin and then I get a rag and I put really really warm water on it as warm as I can stand and then I lay the rag over my face until it cools down which takes maybe 30 seconds and then gently wipe off the excess oil and the great thing about that is it also removes every bit of my makeup even my eye makeup very simply and puts a lot of moisture in my skin and even though my skin tends to be oily during the warmer months it doesn't the olive oil doesn't produce the oil in my skin in that way and it has also been quite helpful because during the winter months i go into opposite world and i get horribly dry skin that flakes and between the olive oil and the essential oils i've been able to totally 
cure that. Um, so after I wash with the olive oil, then I take my frankincense oil and my lavender oil, which are two of my very favorites, and they are both very versatile oils, which are good for many, many things. And what I usually like to do is take the lavender oil, same as with the copaiba, one drop in my hand, rub it together, and rub it in my face. And then, after that, I take the frankincense, same thing, one drop, and I rub it in. And I feel like I get better results layering them separately than if I combine the drops together. But I'm also one who always says, keep it simple. So if you'd rather do them both together, no harm there. Whatever works for you. But give it a few weeks. Even after one week, I bet you'll see a difference. The first few days of using the frankincense, I was a little bit red, but that was just my skin adjusting and getting rid of some of the impurities that were deeply embedded. And ever since then, my skin has looked healthy and glowing, and I haven't been dealing with the breakouts that I normally do, even though I'm in my 30s and thought they would end when I hit my 20s. <laughs> but I have found that the lavender and frankincense are great at helping keep my skin clear. And I've been told by family members that they have put lavender directly on their acne outbreaks and that they were gone overnight. So, lots of benefits there, lots of ways to use these. These are just a few of my simple beauty tips. And I have one last tip I want to share with you. Lavender oil, one of my favorite beauty tips with this is I take my mascara and when I get a new bottle, I put one drop, just one, of lavender essential oil into my bottle of mascara, close it up, shake it up, get it mixed up, and that's good to go for the whole bottle. And so every time I wear my mascara, then I am nourishing my eyelashes, and they are looking longer and thicker and healthier because of the exposure to the lavender oil every time I apply my mascara. Whereas normally when I apply my mascara, I know I'm causing damage and breaking them off, but hey, we all want our big, beautiful eyelashes. So now I get the best of both worlds. And also the lavender in your mascara bottle will help it to stay fresh longer because it will inhibit any kind of bacterial growth. And so you can use it with more confidence, not worrying about contamination. That's all my beauty tips for today. I'll be back more another day with more beauty tips and more health tips. In the meantime, you can look me up on Facebook at Essentials for Healthy Living with Mindy. And from there, you can follow me to read my health tips or you can message me with questions. You can also find me online at youngliving.org slash Mindy R. And I would love to hear from you, love to chat with you about the oils, and I love trying to help people find oils that might be helpful to them personally. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed these tips, and I look forward to sharing with you.